ocean, over the clouds, and around the world. Here comes the wild side of wildlife. The Animal Show! And now, let's have a wild welcome for your furry friends. Stinky and Jake! Now it's the Animal Show! Hello, all you little animals out there. I'm Stinky! And I'm Jake, and Hello, today... Hello, Cousin Jakey! Hi, hey, Stinky buddy. Winky! Hey, Jake, what's with all the flowers? Well, we're putting out flowers because today's guests are two animals that need flowers to survive. Ooh. The honey bee mm. and the honey possum. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's wrong with Armstrong there? Yeah. Well, well, whenever he's around flowers, he... Yeah. Sneezes. Boy, it's going to be a long day for him. Yeah. Uh, and for us. Mm. <laughs> and that... Hey, hey, hey. I got it. And now it's time for That's Amazing! Yeah. Today we answer the age-old question. How many honeybees does it take to make a one-pound jar of honey? You know, I've always wondered about that. Here are the bees. Worker bees are the only bees that can turn the nectar from flowers into honey. No magic flowers. Uh-oh. In a healthy beehive, there are about 80,000 worker bees, and they can make 40 to 100 pounds of honey a year. Dude, that's a lot of honey. It takes 800 worker bees one year to make a one-pound jar of honey. Busy, buzzing honey bees. Oh, another animal that makes me say, hey, ah, choo! And will make you say, <gasps> That's amazing! Jake, Jake, who are those uh, scary looking animals over there? <laughs> oh, well, those scary animals are the judges for the best show hosted by animals, especially skunks and polar bears award. I sure hope we win. Well, what happens if we don't? Oh, well, well let's see. Uh, it says here, uh, if you do not win, the, the judges, judges can eat, eat you for dinner. dinner. <gasps> Dinner? Dinner? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, Jake. We'll do a great show. Yeah. What could possibly go wrong? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. Uh, well, uh, and now, before anything else goes wrong, <laughs> let's meet our first guest, a very busy bee. In fact, he's so busy, he's reporting from the field. What field? Oh, you know, that field full of flowers way far over across mm. the meadow. Mm. And here he is by Satellite Link. Satellite Link? Welcome, Barry, the honeybee. Stinky. Hi, Jake. Hi. Welcome to the show, Barry. Oh, I wish I could be there with you, but we honeybees are busy, busy, busy. Well, we don't want to keep you, but but we do want to know all about the life of honeybees. Yeah. I'd be happy to help. Oh, hey, worker bee, roll that clip. Ooh. Oh, here's our swarm. A swarm is what we call a group of bees, like these honeybees gathering in the woods. Well, now, what are they doing? They're flying towards their hive. Oh, that's the place where we honeybees live. Wow, that's a lot of bees. Oh, no, that's just a few, Stinky. As many as 80,000 bees can live in a single hive. Why so many? Well, we have to live in large groups. You see, honeybees can't survive without everyone living and working together. What kind of work do you mean? Work like this bee is doing. That's work? <laughs> Looks like she's just sniffing the flowers. No, not at all, Stinky. This bee is collecting nectar and pollen. Who are nectar and pollen? <laughs> no, nectar and pollen are substances produced by flowers. We collect them and, and bring them back to feed all the bees in our hive. You eat stuff from flowers? Sure. The pollen gives us protein and fat, and the nectar gives us sugar and energy. Well, isn't it true that you make honey from nectar? That's right. Way to impress the judges, Jake. <laughs> we store up lots and lots of honey. It's a source of food for us when winter comes and no flowers are in bloom. Plus, when a honeybee is at work, she carries pollen from one flower to another. That's called pollination. Correct. <laughs> Way to go, Jake. The judges are smiling. Pollination is what helps to make more flowers. So you see, we have flowers, and flowers give us food to eat. I understand what the worker bees do, but I hear you also have a queen bee who lays 1,500 eggs every day. Well, no wonder it's so crowded in your hive. Yeah. Oh, we need that many eggs. You see, the average honeybee only lives four to six weeks, and it's a busy, busy time. Uh, we have to fly as fast as we can. That doesn't look so fast. No, that's because these pictures are in slow motion. Oh. That bee is really beating its wings several hundred times a minute. Now, is it your wings that cause that buzzing sound a bee makes? That's right. Well, way to go, Jake. Make us a winner and we won't be dinner. Yeah. 
Yeah, beating our wings that fast also lets us fly in every direction. Up and down and backwards and forwards. That must help when you're going from flower to flower. It certainly does. We can move very quickly from one plant to the next, and we can get in and out of virtually any flower. Now, how exactly do bees get the pollen and nectar from the flowers? On our hind legs, we have special hairs that collect the pollen. You can see them right there. Hey, why is that bee shaking his backside at us? Or she's just trying to get the extra pollen off her wings and legs. Well, now, why does she do that? Well, the pollen is very sticky. She has to clean it off so she'll be light enough to fly back home. Hmm. Well, let's talk about domestic honeybees. I'd be happy to. I got some pictures right here. Domestic honeybees are mostly found in hives like this one. Wow, that's a nice hive. Did they build it themselves? <laughs> no, stinky silly. <laughs> that hive was built by humans. Ooh, do the bees have to pay rent? Well, yes, in a way they do. You see, humans build those hives to attract honeybees. Then the humans take some of our honey and beeswax for themselves. Humans have been doing that for hundreds of years, right? That's right. Oh, what happened to that bee? Oh, dear. She must have been blown into that water by a strong wind. We bees are not very good swimmers. Well, I hope she sees that frog staring at her. Oh, she'll be all right. Frogs and most other animals know that our stingers hurt, and that means honeybees are not a very tasty meal. Once the bee gets out of the water, oh, she dries herself off and she's ready to get back to work again. Well, Barry, we'll let you get back to work, too. Oh, I better had. <laughs> After all, we honeybees only have four to six weeks to live. Oh. Bye. Bye. Four to six weeks? That may be a lot longer than we have. <laughs> oh, relax, Stinky. I've got something those judges are going to love. Oh, you must mean it's time for... <gasps> Baby, Baby talk. talk. <laughs> Hello, I'm a bee lover. No, you won't see me there. Those are all eggs. And those are all grown-up worker bees taking care of us. You'll see me in a second. Right next to that egg there I am. Pretty beautiful lover, don't you think? We love it, have a great life. The worker bees fuss over us all the time. They feed us and make sure our nursery stays at the right temperature. If it's too cool, they all gather together to make it warmer. And if it's too warm, they beat their wings to fan on us. They also repair and wax the chambers where we live while we're growing up. But, oh, you know the best thing about being a lava? It's all the delicious pollen you get to eat. Baby talk was a great idea, Jake. I think the judges are smiling. Well, maybe smiling is too strong a word. Well, here's something that'll sweeten them up. Honey! <laughs> Reporter, getting you answers to today's tough questions. Let's see if one of these animals knows the answer. Oh, sir, sir. Oh, no, I, I can't talk right now. I'm judging a show. It'll just take a moment. Can you tell me which bee makes the most honey? The mining bee, the leaf cutter bee, the honey bee, or the bumblebee? Your answer? Trapdoor. Did you say trapdoor? <laughs> yeah, we judges love it when you do that thing with the trapdoor. The answer. The bee that makes the most honey is the honeybee. Let's take a look at how they do it. 
Honey is made from nectar, which the bees collect from flowers and deposit in these chambers. That bee dancing around there has found some flowers, and her movements are telling the other bees where the flowers are located. These worker bees are sealing the cells where the honey is stored. All the workers in the hive help to store the winter supplies of honey. This human is now scraping off the wax covering. Mm -hmm. Honey! Humans only take honey that the bees don't need. It all goes into a big vat, and from there it goes into jars, and then onto a spoon, and into a mouth. Delicious! This is Rhonda Rat reporting on honey. Back to you, Stinky and Jake.